The Tragedy of Othello, The Moor of Venice by William Shakespeare Summary Analysis of Characters, Iago Comparison of Othello and Hamlet Complete Guide for UGC NET English Literature Hello and welcome to the discourse. We are going to discuss one of the darkest tragedies of William Shakespeare and the title is The Tragedy of Othello, The Moor of Venice. This drama is a romantic tragedy in which the love ends violently for the reason of sexual jealousy. The source of this drama by William Shakespeare was Cynthia's Latin novel Un Capitano Moro, which was published in 1565. Cynthia's real name was Giovanni Battista Giraldi. The Moor Let us first understand the term Moor. Shakespeare introduced three Moorish characters in his plays. The first one was Aaron of Titus Andronicus, who was the servant and lover of Queen Tamora. We have discussed the summary of Titus Andronicus in our video titled First Folio. Shakespeare also introduced a minor Moorish character in his play The Merchant of Venice, in which the Moorish prince of Morocco seeks Portia's hand in marriage. The third Moor character of Shakespeare is Othello. During the Middle Ages, the term Moor used to refer to black Muslim residents of Maghreb, Sicily, Malta, and Iberian Pen Peninsula. Along with the sexual jealousy, another motive of this play is racial differences that the villain Iago exploits in his vicious schemes. Moor also means a person with other religion of North African and Middle Eastern descent. Iago is the major antagonist of this tragedy, about whom British poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge claimed that he represents motiveless malignity. Coleridge described many of Iago's soliloquies as motive hunting of motiveless malignity. What Coleridge meant was that Iago had no valid reason for his hatred and desire to take revenge against Othello or Cassio or Desdemona. We will discuss the motives of Iago in detail, but let us first discuss the major characters of this play. Characters Othello is a Venetian general who is of Moor race. He is not white. Desdemona is a white girl, lover of Othello, daughter of a Venetian senator, Barbantio, who is opposed to her love for Othello because of Othello's lower birth. Iago is Othello's ensign. He is white. Othello trusts Iago wholeheartedly, but Iago is jealous of Othello and he is a traitor. Emilia is Iago's wife, who is also servant of Desdemona. She is loyal and caring towards Othello and Desdemona. She is loyal for Iago, but Iago even worries if she has an affair with Othello. Iago is one of the most sinister villains of Shakespeare. He is a Machiavellian schemer and manipulator. Iago hates Othello for being a Moor who is superior to him in rank. His hatred is intensified when Othello chooses Cassio to be promoted against Iago. Iago further hates Othello for marrying a white girl Desdemona. Cassio is Othello's loyal and most trusted captain whom Othello promotes while ignoring Iago. Iago hated Cassio as he was promoted against him. He hates Desdemona for marrying a Moor while ignoring his friend Rodrigo. Bianca is Cassio's lover. Rodrigo is Iago's friend, a dissolute Venetian who desires to marry Desdemona. Other minor characters are Duke of Venice, G Graciano, brother of Barbantio, uncle of Desdemona. Lodovico is Desdemona's cousin and Montano is Othello's predecessor officer in Cyprus. Now let us discuss the summary of Othello. The play begins with Iago revealing a secret to Rodrigo, his friend. Rodrigo wants to marry Desdemona, but Iago reveals that Desdemona has already secretly married Othello, his master. He complains against Othello and shows his anger and hatred against the Moor for promoting another soldier Cassio to the lieutenant's post while leaving Iago to remain just his ensign. Iago exhausts Rodrigo to inform Barbantio about the secret marriage of Othello and Desdemona. 
and suggests that Barbancio will never accept that marriage of his fair daughter with a Moor, and Rodrigo may find the chance to marry Desdemona. Both Rodrigo and Iago visit Barbancio's house at late night and tell him about Othello and Desdemona. Barbancio gets angry and orders the force to arrest Othello. However, Barbancio gets an urgent summon from the Duke of Venice himself, who calls him to discuss a serious matter of an imminent Turkish attack on Cyprus. Barbancio goes to the Senate with disturbed mind. In the council, he confronts Othello, who is already there and have been given the charge to go to Cyprus and tackle the probable invasion by the Turks. Babancio complains to the duke against Othello and says that his daughter cannot marry a Moor. The duke summons Desdemona to reveal the truth. Desdemona confesses her love for Othello and accepts her marriage with him. Babancio denounces her and disowns her as his daughter. Desdemona then decides to go to Cyprus along with Othello. Othello goes to Cyprus first along with his force, but arranges for Desdemona to come to Cyprus along with Iago and his wife Emilia. Othello completely trusts Iago and considers him as close as a family member. When Othello, Desdemona, Emilia, Cassio and Iago reach Cyprus, Montano, the officer of Cyprus, greets them and informs that the Turkish forces have retreated and now there is no danger of an attack. Othello decides to celebrate the coming of peace along with his marriage with Desdemona. A night of celebrations is announced and Othello gives the charge for the maintenance of the celebrations party to Cassio. Meanwhile, Rodrigo has lost all hopes of getting Desdemona as his wife and he confesses to Iago that he doesn't think he will be able to woo Desdemona. Iago then schemes his sinister plan. He encourages Rodrigo and says that he should challenge Cassio for a duel because Desdemona is actually falling in love with Cassio. At the night of celebrations, Othello strictly advises Cassio to not to drink alcohol so that he may manage the party well while Othello can have some private moments with Desdemona, his new wife. However, Iago manipulates Cassio and makes him drink. As Cassio gets inebriated, Rodrigo challenges him for a duel and incites him. Montano tries to control the situation and contain Cassio who gets furious against Rodrigo. However, Montano gets stabbed by Cassio while Montano tries to stop him from attacking Rodrigo. When Othello comes to know about this, he gets angry and blames Cassio for the mishap. He takes Cassio's recent promotion as an officer back and tells him to go away. Cassio is very sad as he regains conscious. Iago advises him to not to talk to Othello to ask for forgiveness as he must be very angry against Cassio. Iago tells him to reach Desdemona and beg her help in seeking forgiveness from Othello. On the other hand, Iago continues to tell lies to Othello against Cassio and tries to sow seeds of jealousy in Othello's heart against Cassio. He tells him that Desdemona is interested in Cassio as he is a white and brave soldier, while Othello is a moor. While Othello feels the jealousy, he has no valid reason to doubt Desdemona, his newly wed wife. Iago then plans further and instructs Emilia, his wife, to get a handkerchief of Desdemona to him. Emilia, being innocent and unaware of the plans of Iago, helps him and gives him a handkerchief of Desdemona. Iago then plants this handkerchief in such a way that Cassio finds and gets it. Then Iago tells Cassio to meet Desdemona and ask for forgiveness. He himself arranges the meeting between Cassio and Desdemona at night. Right when Cassino meets Desdemona, and begs her to help him in getting forgiveness from Othello, Iago brings Othello in the room. When Cassio sees Othello, he gets very nervous and frightened for his fault and runs away immediately without saying anything. On the other hand, when Othello sees Cassio alone with his wife in a closed room, he further gets jealous and angry. Unaware of the happenings, Desdemona asks Othello to forgive Cassio 
and this further angers othello and he shows his disgust to desdemona who gets nervous iago then takes othello to follow cassio after running away from desdemona's room cassio reaches to the room of bianca his lover there he shows the handkerchief of desdemona and tells her to make a similar handkerchief for herself Iago and Othello overhear this conversation and Iago presents it as a confirmation of affair between Cassio and Desdemona. Without thinking any more, Othello orders Iago to kill Cassio while he himself decides to murder Desdemona, his own wife. In Desdemona's room, she feels very weak and disturbed about the change in Othello's behavior and tells Emilia that she cannot understand what is happening. Iago asks Rodrigo's help in killing Cassio. Rodrigo, however, realizes that Iago is not his friend and he has his own plannings. However, Iago makes him to attack Cassio. Cassio defeats Rodrigo, but Iago stabs him at his leg. In the house, Othello reaches to Desdemona's room and tells her to offer his, her last prayers before he kills her. Desdemona understands that there is no hope. She tries her best to explain Othello of her innocence, but he doesn't listen. Desdemona then begs him to let her live for a few more hours, hoping that it may make Othello's anger go away. But Othello decides to kill her and smooth her with a pillow on her bed, as she cries for her innocence. Amelia sees Othello killing Desdemona, and she shouts and brings everyone in the room. After killing Desdemona, Othello justifies his act and shows the handkerchief as the proof of Desdemona's infidelity. When Emilia sees the handkerchief, she understands all the plan of Iago, as it was she who gave that handkerchief to Iago. She reveals that Othello was wrong, Desdemona was truly loyal for him, and it was Iago who planned this all. It was she who gave that handkerchief to Iago. Iago, being trapped in his own plan, attacks Emilia and kills him. Othello feels wrecked and weak. He attacks Iago but couldn't kill. He wounds him. While now thinking about his actions, Othello finds himself filled with guilt and remorse, and he also knows that he will be punished for his acts. So he decides to kill himself with his own sword and dies on the same bed on which that corpse of Desdemona was laid. Cassio arrives with soldiers and he is reinstated as the officer by the duke. He orders arrest of Iago and torture as his punishment and the play ends. Comparison of Othello and Hamlet The two tragic heroes of Shakespeare, Hamlet and Othello, appear to be exactly opposite. While Hamlet was a tragic hero who used to contemplate too much rather than acting and that became the cause of many innocent deaths. He could have killed his uncle right when it was confirmed that he murdered his father. Please watch the video on analysis of Hamlet. Othello suffers the issue of acting without any thinking. Had he contemplated and given a few thoughts about the accusation of Iago against Desdemona, who married him against all odds and against Cassio, who was his most beloved and trusted soldier, he might not have committed these faults. However, Othello lets sexual jealousy rule over him and takes his actions without thinking even a bit. So this was all about Othello, the moor of Venice. We will bring upon the summary and description of other memorable and impressive tragedies by William Shakespeare. Please stay connected with the discourse. Thanks and regards.